pre-match photographs for the two teams here. Spurs side there being led tonight by the Dane, Christian Eriksen. He has the captain's armband. A new campaign looming ever larger now for Barcelona and Tottenham Hotspur in front of this large global spotlight. Before the break. Well, that's a poor pass there. Barca could be in here. And that's the first big chance of the game for them. It was Munir. Possibility, obviously, there's so much speculation about Alderweireld and whether he will remain, whether it'll be sold before the start of the season. And there's no flag here. There might be now that Munir went in. Oh, Denis Suarez there too. High defensive line by Tottenham, and they were exposed there. Yeah, they got caught on this occasion. And Suarez and Munir, I think, in the end, Munir thinks that he might well have been offside because of this touch there. That has to be the next step on the on the ladder. That's a lovely ball in there towards Rafinha and Munir. It's a well-worked goal for Barcelona. But it has been coming. They've been on top. And some fine football there has brought about the breakthrough, and it's Munir El Hadani who puts Barca a goal in France in California. He had an earlier chance, a shot from the edge of the box, which he couldn't take. He skied that, but on this occasion, Barcelona worked the ball into the 18-yard box with real quality from the throw-in possession, the diagonal ball to the back post, and then the awareness just to nod down to Munir to head him from two yards. Spurs defence not marking, caught out, real quality goal for Barcelona. Inside a quarter of an hour, champions of Spain hit the front. He follows the, the diagonal ball to the back post, and Munir quickly attacks the space that is left and gets into a position for Rafinha just to nod the ball back into his path. Really well crafted goal. It's come around very fast this year. As for Barcelona, they have a, a Super Cup in Spain to play against Sevilla before their league campaign begins against Alaves at the camp now. Here's Rafinha. Semedo could be in here. It's a good save that by Gatsaniga. Semedo. Great Christian touch from him. Rafinha, Semedo again. That's some game so far. It's a good switch of play. Out to Rafinha. Cross goes Walker Peters. This is Arthur. Good effort. Oh, it's a wonderful goal. Something superb there from Arthur. The new boy from Brazil, 21 years of age. And the fans here perhaps seeing a future star. A magnificent goal, and it's 2-0 Barcelona. Well, what a way to introduce yourself to your new supporters. That was a goal of the highest quality. The first one was well-crafted. Again, the big switch from left to right. Rafinha this time just cuts back on his favoured left foot and then rolls it beautifully to Arthur. He has time to take a touch. But when he takes that touch, he sets himself up for the finish, and the finish is exquisite. Away to the right-hand corner, giving the goalkeeper absolutely no chance. Two superb goals from Barcelona. Real test now for Spurs. Absolutely sublime, Amarva. Well, we all know about the set-piece prowess of Eriksen over his years for Tottenham. Can he produce something here? Ericsson's effort. Oh, it was a good one too. It required saving. Well, it was the right side for the goalkeeper. A good height for him, and he made sure parried it clear. Superb mentality to take on the challenge of trying to get into this team. Well, that's half time then at the Rose Bowl in California. And a quite wonderful first half for Barcelona, capped by that man's goal, Arthur. An outstanding strike. So away we go once again. And amongst those half-time changes for Barca, as we saw there, Malcolm coming off the bench. Uh, a first chance to see him for the Barca fans. The four-man defensive wall for Barcelona. Eriksen's free kick. Oh, it came off the post. Very unlucky. 
And then the rebound came the way of Serge Aurier. But Ericsson there nearly pulled one back. Yeah, just inches in it. Ericsson trying to wind that ball in. Side that upright, had Citizen beaten. I suppose the hope is that eventually they'll push on beyond that and try and push for the title. It might not be this year, but that's still a bit of long term goal. It has to be the aim, yes. Ericsson, cute pass by him to Som. And good feet by him. Som with a shot. It's a good move that he's just pulled up there, Som. Tinio scoring a hat trick in that match. They were just one goal short of scoring a hundred goals. Here's Malcolm. And Michel Vaughan had to get down there pretty smartly to keep that ball at bay just about. Well, his first shot from Malcolm, testing Vaughan at his near post, going on the outside onto his favoured left foot. Michel Vaughan has to be sharp, dropping down to his near post. And that's what he can do, Joe. Just a little turn of pace and explosive. Malcolm with the corner, it was a good one too, and it was Coenza, Carter Vickers. Davis. Here's Nkudu. Davies, energetic, good ball then too. And Ericsson's in there, fantastic block then, Son! He's pulled one back, and it's game on now. Spurs back in it. Back to 2-1, and there's belief again here for them. Well, they've made that pressure count, and it comes from pressing higher up the field. They work the ball down the left-hand side, and Kuga rolls the ball nicely into the path of Davies, first time cross. It's not cleared by that young Barcelona defence, and when it pops out to Song, he's clinical in the way that he just side-foots the opportunity into the bottom corner. Kudu was in there too for Spurs. Aurier, good ball, Son! Oh, and still maybe. Can he squeeze it in here? Oh, it's off the line, then turned in. It is 2-2. From two down, Spurs have leveled the game. And now it's their fans on their feet. Some match we have now, and Kudu it was in the end, who thumped the ball over the goal line. Two apiece. Joe, I wonder whether Ericsson's strike actually crossed the line, but when it comes out and Kudua makes it absolutely positive that it's a Spurs equaliser. Song is scrappy, the pressure's on. Does that go in from... Oh, it's Giorgio who's there with the left foot strike. As it pops back here, is it over the line? But Kudu make doubly sure, smashing the equaliser into the roof of the net. And that pressure right from the beginning of the second half has told for Spurs on this young Barcelona side. That's a close call. Yeah, Palencia on the goal line it is. But then Kudu's there to make. Oh, that's lovely. They're in again here, Barcelona. Malcolm. After a push there by Davies, there was no whistle. And the final effort. It was a fairly tame one from Ricky Breach. Yeah, Malcolm just couldn't get set to fire off with that famous left foot that he has. Turned on by Som. Georgie. Into that favourite left foot. Ericsson's in there. And he got something on it too. And it forced a save from Sitherson. It was a really clever ball from Georgiou and great run from Ericsson. Just a fraction too far in front of him. He couldn't quite cut the shot back past the keeper. Squeezes Serge Aurier. Amos, now Ericsson. It's going to go for goal here. Return for that. And the loser in the shootout gets one point as well. He might not go that far though yet. Barcelona with a chance here. It's a good run. It's the side netting. That little bit more experience is just coming to the fore as this game's coming to an end. Ericsson goes low, Son. And that is the end of the 90 minutes, and it ends 2-2 in California. And applause all around here because it was a terrific game to enjoy. Two first half goals to Barca, leveled by two for Spurs after the break from Son and then Nkudu.
Spurs were pushing on for a winning goal to completely come back. It didn't quite arrive for them.